Yo, what's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? So this is a video that I have been kind of wanting to make for a while, but then also I was like, maybe I shouldn't, but then maybe I should, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing it anyway, man. So they changed up uh, Huntress's add-ons kind of recently. I'm saying recently, but it was honestly kind of a while ago. And they changed one of her ultra rares. Well, they, I guess they changed both of her ultra rares. They made it so they, they, her eerie head add, her eerie head add-on makes it so that your your hatchet's one shot down, but you can only have one hatchet no matter what. You used to be able to combine this with infantry belt, and you used to be able to have three hatchets that one shot down, and they changed that, so now you can only have one no matter what. And then they also added this add-on called Soldier's Putty that makes it so that when you have no hatchets, you go 4.6. Normally, Huntress is 4.4, which means that she's kind of slower. Most of your standard killers are 4.6, like Trapper, Wraith, Billy. So she's kind of on the slower end. And this add-on makes her normal speed, I guess, like quote-unquote normal speed whenever you're out of hatchets. And you're out of hatchets after you throw one hatchet with your head. So they kind of have synergy with each other. You know, it kind of seems like they were almost made for each other. Does that make sense? How romantic. They were made for each other. But it kind of seems like they were made for each other, right? So I kind of wanted to try them together just to see how it works. The problem that I run into when I'm usually trying to make videos like this is that survivors love the DC against your head. So we'll see if this actually works or not. I might just get a bunch of DCs. I don't know, dude. By the way, we, we, we uh, put together a build. There's really nothing that crazy here. We have Crypt Intervention. We have Scourge Hook, which are both just very good slowdown perks. I'm running Iron Maiden so I can reload faster. I mean, look, I mean, I get one hatchet and then I have to reload. So I'm going to be reloading decently often. I mean, I know I go 4.6 without hatchets, but the hatchet's still very strong. So I'm still going to want to reload it as often as I can. Um, and I'm also going to try and make your choice. This is the, I think this is the only interesting perk in the whole build because I have this option as an eerie for as, as an eerie head and also to go 4.6. I think make your choice is actually kind of interesting because if I chase someone and they're exposed, what do they do? They're probably going to try to eat the hatchet instead of eating the M1, right? Because they know if they get M1, they're going to get one shot down. So they might honestly try to eat the hatchet instead. Like they might like take a free hatchet hit just to avoid going down, but then that would be a one shot down, right? I don't know. It's 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 interesting synergy. I'm curious to see how it works. I, I think it might work really well, but it also might not. We'll see. Either way, this is the build. Let's go test this out. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we got the what that what the, what's this map even called? Irie of Crows? Is that how you say that? Irie? Eerie? Irie? We got the something of crows. Um and also the survivors like last second swap to like a bunch of flashlights or something, so that's interesting. So maybe that makes you feel less bad about eerie head? You know? Maybe. I guess, I suppose. Well, we'll see how this goes. I hear someone doing bones. They're probably booning. I think they're trying to boon the, the totem that's right above me. Hey, man. Hey, you booning up, homie? One shot down. One shot down. Are they gonna DC? Are they gonna do it? Are they gonna do it? Are they gonna do it? Are they gonna DC? Nothing so far. So far, so good. Wait, we have a scourge hook up top. Also, they boon somewhere else. My God, they're a bunch of booners, man. They're a bunch of damn dirty booners. They're also on a gen. Okay, two of them on a, two of them on a gen and one of them booned. Unless the boon was here. But probably not. I'm assuming that there was two on a gen and probably one on a boon. Mm, this guy's got to be careful. Let's see if we can get the hatchet on him. What are you doing, man? I don't think he's going to throw it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I'm bad. But now I'm 4.6. So like now we can play this like a normal killer, right? Because I'm pretty fast. So like, now I'm just quick, right? Like now I'm pretty quick. And if he goes near a locker, I can reload and get my one shot hatchet. So like, it's not that bad, right? He might also be looking out for more hatchets. I don't know, maybe he knows. It's definitely very, I mean, seeing as the fact that they all swapped to like flashlights, I'm guessing they're probably in a group together. So they probably know, right? Like the dude probably called out one shot down hatchets or maybe he was just paying enough attention to know, but they probably know I would assume. I'm actually gonna leave him alone. I have one shot hatchets and I know they just unhooked that guy, so I'm gonna go back up and mess with him. Okay, the boon is definitely over there somewhere. That is definitely, the boon is definitely down on that side of the map. Good to know. All right. I could go for, the thing that sucks about Eerie Head though, is that you can't really, you, I guess I, you, I guess, I guess you can't say you can't, but you really shouldn't be going for risky hatchets, which kind of sucks. I like going for risky hatchets. Like for instance, I kind of wanted to try to throw a hatchet through like that one little like walkway right there. But that probably would have been not smart, you know? It probably wouldn't have been the play. So far, though, I gotta say, I've been way more tempted to reload my one hatchet than just to play a 4.6 killer, right? Like, the 4.6 benefit is, like, okay, but it's not, like, crazy, right? It's just kind of okay. It's like, 
you know, you can be a regular 4.6 killer or you can be a killer with a hatchet. And like, I don't, I don't know, man. Like I'm still, I'm still taking the opportunity to reload basically every chance I can. Oh, I see him. He's over here. See, like, this is where he's in a weird position now. I'm not 4.6. I'm only 4.4, but still. Like, what's he do? He has to avoid getting m one But also, if I hit him with a hatchet, he gets one shot down anyway, right? It's like two different one shot downs. Or I could hatchet this guy and then try to melee him. I need to not miss, though. And now I'm 4.6, and I can try to melee him while he's exposed. But he's at Shaq, dude. Fuck. Oh, oh. No, he is live. No, that would have been such a good play. It was a good play. It was a good play. I was going to say it could have been such a good play. It was a good play. His greedy ass tried to fucking run past the pallet. And then he was like, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. This might not be a great idea. And then he tried to run back. And I was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't think so. And we got a scourge hook here, too. So that's actually pretty cool. That's actually quite legit, dude. Nice. That was a good play. That was like good value out of both, man. We got eerie value and then we got soldier's putty value. And we got maker choice value and we got value for days, dude. So much value. We're literally drowning in value right now. I think I'm just going to commit to this, Dwight. Everyone's off gens right now, so this is actually pretty good for me. Oh, that was really stupid. Why do I keep, why do I keep going for the greediest hatchets on this, Dwight? Like, I swear, there's something about this Dwight that I just... I'm just, like, so inclined to go for greedy hatchets. What's wrong with me? Like, why did I go for that hatchet? I could have easily saved it and went for something way safer, and I was just like, no. Okay, they unhooked that guy, and then they booned up, so I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna grab the hatchet, because they're probably gonna heal up in the boon. But I know they booned up, like, right here. Probably in shack. No? Where? Right here. I kind of want to save my hatchet if I can, so I'm going to. I'm just going to M1 this guy. Do you have dead Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you got dead art. Let me go snuff that boon real quick. Oh, Quentin's still here, too. You going to go for the flashlight, buddy? No? No brave flashlight gamers? Man, last second swapping the flashlights. I'm not even going for the saves. You hate to see it. Another scourge hook, though, so we're good. Another scourge hook hook, which is good. These guys actually seem like they're pretty, uh, they, they seem like they're pretty solid, which is nice. That's something that I don't get much these days. I don't really get like solid survivors much. I get a lot of like babies and it's honestly quite depressing. Like I like getting solid survivors much more than I like getting brand new people. Like I would rather take like a somewhat challenging game than like an easy game any day of the week. Where did she go? Oh, you're right here. She left like no scratch marks. I don't think she'll throw it. See, like that time I got, I got scared that I was going to do the thing I did with Dwight. Like, dude, I'm too scared to go for like risky hatchets. Like, dude, I just got to release it, man. I just got to release it, you know? Whoa. I released it. I did it. I released it. I'm getting, I'm getting like two in my own head. You know what I mean? I'm like, dude, I have one hatchet. I have literally one hatchet. I have to be so careful. Also, that sounded like Dwight. I think Dwight's exposed right now. He's the only one that's full health, which is really nice. Let me hook her and then let me head over. Also, the other guy's over there. So I think Dwight's exposed, but where the fuck is he? Where did he go? There he is. He's just going to throw this 100%. With him being exposed, there's no way he's taking a risk there. Hmm. Chain blinding is really dumb, though. That wasn't very smart. That gives me a lot more distance than I should be getting. And he's down. Bro, soldier's putty. Make your choice. Actually, kind of legit though. I think. I think it's actually kind of legit. Soldier's buddy, make your choice. Like when I threw make your choice onto this build, I was like, this probably won't work, but I'll do it anyway for chits and giggles. Dude, it's actually kind of legit. These guys might still end up beating me because they're being like a pretty good team of survivors, and they're kind of getting shit done. But bro, it's not going too bad. I gotta say, none too shabby. I, I still feel like I might have been better off with, like, multiple hatchets. Because one thing I'm finding is it's really hard to snowball like this. That's kind of the main issue I'm running into. Is it's hella hard to snowball. She didn't even dead hard. Someone's here, though. I say it's hard to snowball, but we might have a snowball situation right here. There's owner away from the, from the pallet and then downer. Perfecto. 
We can go throw her on a scourge hook. Yeah, we're kind of snowballing. It's a little bit harder to snowball, but you can still do it. It's just a little bit more difficult. If I really, you know what? Do I want to be a tryhard? I kind of do. I kind of do want to be a tryhard. I'm going to leave that guy on the ground and I'm going to patrol this hook. This is like the more tryhard play, right? Because this guy is most likely going to be making a play on this hook. And he's one shot. So like if I catch him out, it's GG. He has to make a play for somebody here, right? There's two people downed. So he has to make a play for somebody here. And I feel like these guys were pseudo sweating. So I feel like it's pretty justified for me to sweat back, right? I'm gonna pop a reload real quick. The guy on hook went to struggle, so it's no biggie. I could actually just let him get unhooked at this point and probably hook the Michaela and it's worth. Like the fact, that is your footsteps? I don't think. The fact that he went to struggle is pretty solid. She might be crawling to him. I don't know, but I'll just hook her real quick. And I sh I'm in a pretty good spot now, man. I mean, I don't know. This, the, the snowball kind of happened. She's dead. But yeah, I mean, that's, pro that's pretty much a fat dub. I mean, this guy could either get the unhook or he just dies, I guess. Hey, man, honestly, this worked pretty well. I, I don't know if it's better or worse than, like, other add-on combinations, right? Like, I feel like Infantry Belt Oak Haft might still be better. But it works surprisingly well, I gotta say. Like, honestly, it, it, oh, blood. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Like, honestly, it was, I kind of expected it to be worse, if I'm being real. Especially with, like, how, like, efficient these, these survivors were playing. Like, once I realized that these survivors were, 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 were pretty good, I was like, man, I'm probably going to lose this game, huh? But you know what? Mm -mm. Nope. Not at all. Kind of held our own, actually. Uh, I think I can get a hatchet over that. Oh, I hit the tree. You can't get a hatchet over that. I just fucked it up. He's going to cover, like, half the map, so we're, we have to just get lucky and hope he doesn't find hatch. Which seems like he didn't get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> the old cheeky double vault, eh? Went for the old cheeky double vault, did ya? Hey, this was a fun match, though. I gotta say, these survivors were pretty solid. This was, this was actually a really fun one. Oh, wait, there's no basement in there. What am I doing? This was actually a really, a, a really, really enjoyable game, man. This is, like, this is honestly what I want more of. I know I made a video recently talking about MMR. And, look, I won't rant about MMR in this video, okay? I'm sure everyone's sick of hearing about it. But I like matches like this. I wish I had more. Hell, if these guys were even a little bit better, I'd be cool with it, man. I like challenging games. Too many of my games lately have just been stomped, and it's not cool. This one was good, man. I liked it. And it was fun. These add-ons actually work pretty well. I think Maker Choice is actually a good perk in this build. I thought it was dumb. I thought it was stupid when I first put it on, but it actually seems like it's pretty solid. So, hey, GG's. GG's, we're going to give this build a, 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 another try. We're just going to queue again and uh, see what else we get. And we, dude, and nobody DC'd. Honestly, kudos to those guys for that as well. They also didn't DC. That's a massive poggers. I feel like every time I run eerie head, people DZ, and there was none this game. That's a humongous pog. So yeah, GG's, man. We'll, we'll go to a second game, and we'll see if it works as well the second time around. All right, what do we got now? Motherfucking Sanctum of Wrath. I actually really don't like these maps as Huntress. Um, I said these maps in such like a, such a cruel way right there. That sounded so mean. These maps. God, these fucking maps. No, but really, these maps, uh, like the Yamaoka maps, I don't know. There's something about the tiles in these maps that I just struggle with a lot. I don't know why. Like the, uh, like the rocks or something. It's something about like the rocks or something. I just like feel like I can never throw over them. It's really weird. So, incoming struggle. Just gonna let you know, most likely incoming struggle. <sighs> Surprise, you're gonna, are you gonna DC? Don't DC, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. It's okay, it's okay. Fuck! See, I told you! I told you, man! It's eerie heads that makes people DC! I'm telling you! This thing is like a DC magnet. I can't believe the last game that nobody DC'd. It's like, it's always the first guy that you down, too. It's like the first guy that you down, you down them, and they take a second. It's always like a little five second pause where they like contemplate life. They're like, this motherfucker in his eerie heads. Oh, man! And then they, and then they pull the plug. Every single time. I hate it, dude. It's so consistent. Mm, I, can, I maybe could have hit that. This Jane seems to be, well, seems to be decent too, but then she kind of messed that up. Yeah, we got her though. We got her. Are you going to decent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Just, ir just iridescent head things, you know? No biggie. Just eerie head things. Well, we'll see what other survivors we can find. Surely they won't DC, right? <laughs> right? Right? Surely the other survivors will stick around. Right? Surely. Surely the other survivors will not be Right? Maybe they'll... You'll stick around, right? You'll stick around, right? You're the last one, Fang. You're the last one here. Surely you'll stick around, correct? 
You won't leave me, right, Fang? Right, right, Fang? Dude, there's no way, right? Imagine. Oh, she moved. Oh, she came back. Oh, I could have got it. If I could have got a cross map eerie head, that would have been sick. Wait, we can still. Oh, she found hatch. Okay, well, we won't count this one. Uh, this was game two, but you know what? We'll we'll do a game three. It's fine. This was. Uh, although if game three goes the same way, then I'm just gonna end the video. <laughs> so we'll see. But this is this is the usual eerie head experience. This is what I was talking about before the game. So I guess let's go give game three a try. Fuck it. Yo, editing tofu here. I just want to say real quick that the next match that I get into, I end up going up against a streamer friend of mine. Um, I didn't realize that that's who I was going up against at the time because he plays under weird names and I didn't even recognize him until like way after the match had ended. But yeah, I'm going to be including some clips of his stream whenever we interact in game. I'm going to be like cutting back and forth between my stream and his stream just so you guys can get his reactions. And I'm also going to link his stuff down below. He's a really chill dude. Feel free to check him out if you want. But anyway, sorry. Just enjoy the game. Oof, that's a rough map. Um, well, you know, it's fine, right? I mean, we're running Eerie Head, so it's fine, right? Right? You know what? Honestly, I think my least favorite part about this map as Hunters is honestly the locker placement, which might be a weird thing to complain about. Like, I feel like the obvious thing to complain about is like the 300,000 fucking pallets that are all safe as fuck. But I feel like the thing I that I hate the most, especially as hunters, is just the fucking locker placement, dude. This is not a good pallet to be at. This is not a good pallet to be at. This is not a good pallet to be at. Fuck, 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 fuck. I feel like sometimes it's so hard to find lockers, and I hate it. Also, do you like how my scratch marks like don't render in? Do you like how they're all blurry? Isn't that isn't that neat? Isn't that neato mosquito? I don't know why that happens. It's like it's like a thing. It's like only for me. I've never seen it happen to other people. Whoa! Oh, that was so greedy, dude. I was trying to. Even if she went where I thought she was gonna go, it still wouldn't have landed. That was so greedy and bad of me, man. She dropped down. Hi, bye. Help! No! Okay. Well, kind of giving me a free oh. hit, which is cool with me. I hear some gen progress. I need to get some hatchets. She's going to be real sus once I get this hatchet. She's going to be like, bro, she just reloaded after one hatchet. <laughs> She's gonna be real sussy baka. No! I tried to rush it! No! She just raw dog that too. Oh, is it Eerie Head? Oh my god, is it Eerie Head? It's Eerie Head! Oh my god, it's 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 double eerie, I think. That's how she's so quick. Oh, good to know. Okay. That makes it a little bit more entertaining. God, okay, this is already going terribly. This is already going terribly because I'm missing. And I keep reloading after one hatchet and these guys are definitely becoming sus. They are definitely, you know, like if this was a game of Among Us, I'd be off the fucking ship right now, dude. I'd be out of this bitch. Don't worry though, I'm gonna catch one of these guys off guard. She didn't go to the, that was genius. She didn't go to the, to the, to the thing because she's a heckin' genius. <laughs> Are they gonna DC? No DC? No DC, not yet. Good try, Pussy. Good try. Good try, Poos Poos. I don't think so. Let's take him to a scourge hook. Let's go to a scourge hook. Oh boy. Oh boy, a scourge hook. Oh boy, my favorite. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. Figured that's the one that would regress. She's already injured. I'm actually gonna leave her alone. I want one of the full health people. Cause I currently have a hatchet. If I didn't have a hatchet, I would totally go after her. But seeing as how I have a hatchet, I want this guy instead. Oh, dude, that's not, that's not smart. That's not smart. That's not where you wanna go. I honestly maybe should have reloaded before hooking her, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, any scourge hooks around? Could have made it. I could have made it to that scourge hook. It's too late now, but I could have made it. That was dumb of me. If I took better path, I think I could have got there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're gonna get our one hatchet back. And we're fine. We're good. Maker choice is gonna be really hard to make work here, though. That's kind of that's kind of one of the major issues I'm gonna see. Like maker choice is gonna be really tough. Cause like she's deep in a corner. So if there's any time that would probably work, it'd probably be right now. But the guy that on hunter is even it, it, they're not even full of anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be really hard to get maker choice value on this map. This map, like, it's like a multi-floor mess. So maker choice is gonna be tough, but we'll see. Does she have balanced? She's a fallen mad lad. Oh, 
Oh, I keep trying to rush it, dude. What's wrong with me? Oh, I'm boosted. Oh, I'm boosted, dude. See, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, Soldier's Buddy, like, the more I'm playing around with it, the more I just feel like I'd be better off with any other add-on. Because, like, when, I, when I'm when i down at, like, when I, when I have no hatchets, I don't want to chase people, dude. Like, I just want to reload. Like, I find myself, even though I'm 4.6, not wanting to chase them while I'm 4.6. Like, I'm really wanting to just get hatchets. Validated. Fucking validated. What a bummer. So, like, what the hell's the point then, right? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, what's the purpose? She's out of hatchets. That's a 115 killer right there. No, she's not out of hatchets. What? Not a 115 killer. Not a 115 killer. What? I feel like I want hatches no matter what. I feel like Soldier's Putty would only be worth it if I'm like chasing people around while 4.6 with no hatchets and actually getting a lot of value, but like I'm literally not. Like maybe when, when Maker Choice kicks in, right? Like I feel like the only synergy is really with Maker Choice and that's it. Outside of Maker Choice, I feel like it's almost, I don't want to say pointless, just not very strong. Well, someone was bleeding a lot here. Somebody was certainly leaving a whole lot of blood here. Ah, yeah, she got dead hard. I wonder if I just, like, hide my red stain for a while, if she'll come back. Nope, she just bailed. Fuck. That's honestly smart of her to just bail. Like, in this situation, it's kind of good, right? Like, sh like we like we lose less distance. We can catch up quicker. But also, like, now I'm just a 4.6 killer. So, like, what can I really... I was going to say, what can I do? But I guess I can play a pallet like a 4.6 killer. I guess that's what I can do. I got kind of lucky that she ran to a pallet that wasn't extremely safe. So, like, you know, it kind of ended up being in my favor but i gotta be careful with flashlight saves here i was gonna say i might she might have a hero she needs a hero we got a skirt chuck though so that's good that's very very good and this is also a hook that we could potentially get maker choice value on which is nice dude skirt chucks are so nice man the amount of regression that has happened this game without me ever having to kick a gen is fucking crazy like, it is actually so nice, dude. Scourge Hook, this new Scourge Hook, Pain Resonance, I say Scourge Hook, like, but, like, Scourge Hooks are obviously multiple perks. Pain Resonance in particular, such a good perk, dude. Such a good fucking perk. Wow. These fucking dead heart gamers, man. But now I'm 4.6, look at this. I would not have got that hit if I wasn't 4.6. Soldier's Putty Value, dude. Soldier's Putty Value, baby. I would not have got that if I wasn't 4.6. Do you think they have hatchets, by any chance? Shits. Shits, I just messed up and it's 115. I just messed up. No. Uh that that is that is double eerie. Fuck me, man. So like I don't know, man. It's weird because I'm like simultaneously shit talking soldiers buddy while also getting soldiers buddy value. So like which is it? Also, who just screamed? I couldn't, I don't really know the screams, but I think that was Yun Jin, right? I don't really know the difference between Yun Jin and Feng Min's scream exactly. Well, Feng just healed. Or no, it would have been Meg, because Feng, yeah. Wait, so Yun Jin's exposed right now, right? Yeah. Hmm. I just figured I'd go for it. I kind of want to be 4.6 anyway, that way I can catch up an m one -er. This is actually kind of okay, right? I want to M1 her right now because she's exposed. She's only exposed for like 15 more seconds though. So this is actually a mad sketch. That was such a ballsy play. Holy shit, dude. You, how do you, how do you maneuver around the map with such massive balls blocking you? Honestly, dude, you deserve to not get down. That was such a ballsy play. Dude, if I just would have not respected that pallet, she just goes down. Why, why wouldn't she throw it? I don't even know if I want to call it ballsy or just call it stupid, really. Like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose to give her credit, and I'm gonna say that that was just a ballsy, big dick. Like that person's dick is huge, dude. It has to be to make a play like that, right? Again, or they're just stupid. But like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the big dick instead because that shit was so incredibly ballsy. Because literally, like, she could have easily just got one shot down there. And why wouldn't she throw the pallet? Like, it's so easy to just throw the pallet and then be safe, right? And she was like, Nah, dog, fuck that. I ain't throwing it. See, like, man, in this situation, again, I can't help but feel like 
I'd be so much better off with other add-ons, man. Like, I don't really know what the point of this video is, whether I'm trying to, like, just get value so I can scream Soldier's Putty value, baby, or whether I'm trying to, like, have some articulate discussion on whether or not she had adrenaline. Whoa! <laughs> or whether I'm trying to have some like articulate discussion on whether this add-on combination is like, you know, a viable add-on combination or whatever. Because at the end of the day, I think, I think I'd be better off with, uh, with other add-ons, right? Like, I think I'd be doing a lot better if I had, uh, whatchamacallit, like, Oak had Infrey Belt. You're going to go for that flashlight, dog? I mean, I'm going to pick this guy up and you're not going to flashlight him, but I don't know about the other guy. Don't worry, we're going to get that. That post-game, all gens are done, scourge hook value, baby. She's probably going to try to pick that guy up. I might be able to get there in time. We'll see. She's actually not trying to pick her up. That's interesting. Are you covering for a flashlight in some way? Or did you just leave? She might have just left. I don't know. I'll hook her. It's fine. But yeah. um, Yeah, yeah. I think... Uh, I think in the grand scheme of things, I think I would have been better off with Oak Half Infantry, uh, 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 with like Oak Half, Oak Half Infantry Belt. Even like, honestly, not even just those two add-ons in particular. Honestly, I think there's a, I think there's multiple different combinations of add-ons that could have helped me more here. I, I also, I mean, I do gotta remember that I'm on a tough map. These survivors were pretty solid, but I can't help but feel like the add-ons were not the most ideal, you know? Hmm. What are they doing? I mean, they're surely going to get the unhooks, right? Oh, they're here. Oh, you're just leaving. You're out. You said fuck my team. The Nancy will probably get him, right? Yeah, the Nancy will get him, right? For sure. She got... She has to be saving him now, right, Nancy? Right? N N Nancy? Right? Nancy? There she is. There's the Nancy. There she is. She ran away from the other guy, though. That guy's probably got DS. Yeah. That's my that's my young Jin impression. Do you like it? Yeah, the Nancy went upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Are we done? Are we finished? I don't really want to. I don't want to chase her though, man. She's just gonna DS me if I down her. I want the Nancy. Okay, the Nancy left. Okay, they're they're, they're out. They're out. I guess, I guess they're just out. I think I think the Unjin's just gonna leave too. And that's gonna be it. I think. Yep, yep, she's out as well. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I'll take the 1k. That is A-OK -okay with me. These guys played pretty well. I definitely misplayed a lot too. Um man, I got, again, I feel like we got we got some soldiers putty value. But ugh. Like, it just doesn't feel that. Like, it's not underwhelming, but it's not overwhelming. It's like whelming. You know what I mean? Is that weird to say? It's just, it's, it's regular whelming. It's not overwhelming. It's not underwhelming. It's just whelming. You know what I mean? Hate you, Tofu. <laughs> I would hate me too. We did, we did leave the one Jimmy. Oh, it's fucking Tofu. What a slut. <laughs> what a slut. GG's, well played. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like, it's like just whelming. It's honestly just whelming. I don't know. It's not like, it's not like crazy good. It's not crazy bad. Like, I feel like you get value out of it sometimes, but it's also like, it just, it doesn't feel like it's ultra rare worthy. Like, Eerie Head feels insane, right? Even though you only get one hatchet, it feels insane. Like, the ability to one-shot down, someone's fucking bonkers. But like... Okay, I guess, okay, you know what? Maybe the argument I should be making is, is Soldier's Putty the best thing to combine with Eerie Head? Maybe that's the argument that I should be making here. Because, like, really, Eerie Head is the better one, right? Like, it's the more significant, impactful, ultra-rare add-on. But what do you run with Eerie Head, right? Like, what do you combine it with? This seems like the obvious choice, but if not that, you know what? Let me, let me actually back out. I'm not even going to, like, cut the video out. I'm literally just going to go back, and I want to look at her add-ons. Because if you don't combine it with... Soldier's Putty, then what do you combine it with, right? Like, you can combine it with Babushka. I think that would be the obvious one. Babushka, which makes you wind it up faster, right? Like, I think a ba I think Babushka Eerie Head is probably the best. That way, you're getting maximum value out of your one hatchet, right? Because it makes it easier to land the one hatchet that you have. Like, there's no reason to run Oak Haft or anything. There's really no reason. Like, obviously, you don't want to run Infantry Belt, Leather Loop. It's pointless to run Glowing, to, to run glowing Concoction because the survivor will be downed. Um, like you can maybe make arguments for stuff like begrimed head. 
Um, it feels like I mean, you can maybe make an argument for like hatchet speed or like shiny pin, but yeah, honestly, maybe. See, in my opinion, I still think I still think Babushka is the best. I think Babushka is the best in the combined with Eerie Head, but I do think that you know Soldier Putty is okay. Yeah, I'm I'm I, it did better than I thought it'd do. Wait, it did worse than I thought it would at first. But then I started hating it, and then it did better. Does that make sense? Like, my expectations started high, and then I started playing with it, and my expectations went really low, because I was like, wait, this actually sucks. And then by the end of the video, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not so bad. So, so like, I guess you can say, here, I'll, I'll draw you a graph. If, if, my, if my, Here's my expectations for this add-on, right? I started out here, and I was like, yeah, this is actually going to be really good. And then I played with it, and I was like, oh, shit. And then I was like, wait a minute, I'm actually getting some value. I was like, wait, you know what? That's actually just pretty average. <laughs> That's the graph. This is my expectations of Soldier's Putty. And it ended right here. This is the final result. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. I'm just going to end this video. I'm just I'm just talking about nothing at this point. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was fun to do. Uh, leave the video a like if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe as, as well if you liked the video. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, 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 I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for hanging. Hope you guys have a good night. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. Uh, for you later, for you.